These are the 20 most disrespectful moments in snooker history. Starting with a bang, Ronnie O'Sullivan, during his game against Dave Gilbert, made a controversial gesture that landed him in hot water, leading to disciplinary actions. Yeah. Oh, that was a sloppy one. Now he, Ronnie O'Sullivan, 28. That is a very rare occurrence for O'Sullivan. He didn't really think about the black in the end. He just hit it because he was concerned with the red. So, it's hard to say that he didn't put a lot in that shot. Moving on, Mark Williams skillfully clears the table with his eyes closed. Hawkins, on the other hand, can't mask his reaction. His face a canvas of sheer disbelief and a hint of resentment. needed but in the end not in the pink. following Mark's audacious clear Kurt Mafflin's temperament flared at the world championship he cheekily flipped the bird at the cue ball after missing a 147 shot oh, 105. Dear. During the English Open final between Selby and Breckel, referee Tatiana Wollaston called security to remove a disruptive fan who shouted, distracting Selby mid-shot. Can you please get him out? Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately that gentleman's going to have to leave, isn't he? And security moving in. I think it's quite a popular decision with the crowds for the looks of things. Elliot Slesser's boiling point came next, hurling the cue ball in frustration. Clearly, it wasn't his day. From Slesser's fiery outburst, the drama didn't end. Tensions flared again as Anthony McGill accused Jamie Clark of intentionally obstructing his line of sight. Come on, Adam. Listen, listen. It's no big deal, but if you're in his eye line, we'd prefer you to be on that side. No, no, no. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. It's not a big deal. I know. No, no, no. It's good. It's good. What's in the sun? Just stand in there, during a match between Ronnie O'Sullivan and Gary Wilson, a disruptive drunk spectator started disturbing the players. The referee promptly ordered his removal. Excuse me. Just hang on a sec, Ronnie. Come down. Get this guy out. He needs to go. Martin. Out. This one here. He needs to go. A similar note of rising tensions, O'Sullivan and Ali Carter unexpectedly bumped shoulders during their match, adding fuel to the fiery atmosphere. Certainly not what he cared. He was trying to get in behind the black dirt. Um, <laughs> he smiles away. <laughs> oh, but they've had a laugh about it afterwards. <laughs> Following the tense encounters earlier, Ronnie O'Sullivan found himself under the microscope as he played a shot in his semi-final against Mark Selby that drew widespread criticism, raising eyebrows in the snooker community. That is playing ball. Could it just catch an edge. Yeah. Huh? Well, he's got to hit it. It's just a ridiculous shot. Absolutely ridiculous Foul. shot. It's and he's presented somebody who was under it. Mark Williams stunned viewers with a one-handed escape during the 2022 Bet Victor Northern Ireland Open, facing off against Mark Allen. Do you want to win a cue signed by this snooker legend? To enter, subscribe to our channel, like the video, and drop a comment with which part of this video was your favorite moment. Following O'Sullivan's controversy, Jimmy White missed an easy green, briefly lost his temper, and threw the rest, only to calmly replace it moments later.
Jimmy Hoyt. After O'Sullivan's drama, an emotional Wilson fluked a critical green against McGill in an epic final frame, sealing his victory in unexpected fashion. He's interested here. Where's this Please green tell heading? Me. Please tell me he's not fluked it. Please tell me he's not fluked it. Three. He has, and he can't believe it. And nor can poor Anthony McGill. Following Wilson's unexpected win, tensions ran high as Ronnie clashed with referee Martial during the 2022 World Championship final, firmly stating, you saw nothing. What just did you yeah. see? I see, I see, I saw it. No, 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 tell me, what did you see? I'm not going to see anything. Can you tell me what you said? You saw nothing. All right. You saw nothing. Don't look at the camera. You saw nothing. Okay. I'm, I'm not. I'm Judd. Nothing to do with Judd. Sorry. Yeah, but I had to say something, Judd. I had to. I could have said it after the game. But... Hussein to... Vafai threw some shade at Ronnie O'Sullivan before their showdown quipping, he's such a nice person when he's asleep. What mouths or whose mouths are we trying to shut? Uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Yeah, he's... I was quiet. I, th I was respecting him. And I was... Uh, I saw so many people sending me some interview or something like that. And he's what he is, you know, just, he's such a nice person when he's asleep, so, and he's, yeah, just, in a staggering turn of events, world number 57 Zhang Anda upset the top seeded Ronnie O'Sullivan. But tonight is Zhang Anda's night. What a performance. There's O'Sullivan. Rearranging his equipment. O'Sullivan has had no answer. A big upset on the fourth evening here in Brentwood. The seven times world champion Ronnie O'Sullivan is out of the hands of Zhang Ander, who's played quite brilliantly. The world number 57. Continuing on after getting snookered by Sai, Luca Brussel attempted an impossible banana shot. Upon missing, his frustration led him to propel the cue ball with his cue. He might have a snooker behind the angle. You don't see that very often. Luca came to the table and he's faced with a snooker. The angle of the pocket has snookered him. He's going to have to swerve this. If he gets too much, he could go in off the green, are we? It was impossible. That. Foul. In fact, the... Uh, oh. ...to the drama, a protester spread orange powder on the match table. Meanwhile, another would-be disruptor was stopped in his tracks by the referee at the neighbouring table. This caused the match to halt. Good job, Perry. Oh. Rianne Evans chose not to shake hands with Mark Allen at the start of their match, highlighting their history as separated ex-partners. Mark Allen and Rianne Evans are going to be doing is playing snooker okay. here this evening. Mark Allen. Oh, Thank you. First frame. Rianne Evans to break. Yeah, I think the last time... Ronnie O'Sullivan's frustration bubbled over after missing an easy green with the... <laughs> Unable to contain his annoyance, he threw the rest onto the floor. Well, he'd be absolutely enraged. O'Sullivan's oh, got picture. Absolutely enraged. You could sense it. Ronnie O'Sullivan had one foot in the quarterfinals, and then that, the missed green, the rest. Wrapping up with the 1997 Masters final between O'Sullivan and Davis that was interrupted by a fan. A notable instance of unconventional behaviour among snooker audiences. For more snooker videos, click on the screen right now.